February 3, 1935. Today I have a son, Antonio, after my father. The daughter said that Gioconda should not have other children. So delicate is her health. I told the doctor I couldn't pay him, but I would come and fix his wife's Amadio. I told him that someday my son will become a doctor or a lawyer in America. And someday he would come back and do something really great. Here, there is no hope, and so I have decided to try my luck in America. I haven't told Gioconda yet, but I asked her parents to lend me the money for the boat, and they got very angry. They say a man who leaves his family is a disgrace. They say if I leave, I will never again be welcome in their house. My sister, your grandmother. She was so young. When I knew your grandfather, he was not much older. I was uh, very young, but uh, I remember the wedding. I was in the same house we ate today. And I remember watching his eyes, he was, uh, was very much in love. He had a child right away. My father? Yes. And at that time, there was uh, talk of America. It was before the war. And here, there was nothing. And so Lorenzo decided to uh, to leave his wife, uh, his child, and try to, to follow his fortune. But things didn't go well. We had the bad luck, too many deaths. And it was uh, three years before he was uh, able to send for his family the money for it. And it was the in the winter of 39, when my, my sister died. And our letter had not yet uh, reached America when uh, uh, Lorenzo finally called for his family. And uh, so your father left alone, the age of three, for the America. Ah, poor Lorenzo. His heart was broken. 
never, never come back, never wrote again. He was so much in love, but why did he leave? Sometimes love is not enough for a man. Oui, Jim, what are you doing? Ah, I'm going to have a drink of beer. Ah, look, we're in the boat, and now I'm going to have to do a sport. Hi, very important. Eh, Giovino, aggiungi un po' che silenzio. Ti voglio presentare mio nipote, Lorenzo Primavera. È venuto dall'America. Bentornato a Lorenzo Primavera. Tenth, 1936. Gioconda doesn't want me to go. She says she got a better feeling. I tell her not to worry about me, but all I do is worry about her. She is my wife and the mother of my child, and she is everything to me. After the birth of Antonio, she has yet to regain her strength. If anything should happen to her while I am away, I could never forgive myself. Just cause of the family. Family matters. Last night, I held Gioconda so close, I could feel her heart, and she was frightened. I told her I would not rest until I had saved enough to send for her. I told her we would be together before Antonio walks, and that his first pair of shoes would be made in America. <laughs> <laughs> 